Good morning, everyone. It's Pastor Bramick, and it is Thursday, September 3rd, and I'm here for your daily devotion. And because it is Thursday, it's just me today, so I am going to be jumping straight into our reading, which is taken from Ephesians chapter 3, beginning at verse 1, if you'd like to go ahead and, and join me there now. For this reason, I, Paul, a prisoner for Christ Jesus on behalf of you Gentiles, assuming that you have heard of the stewardship of God's grace that was given to me for you, how the mystery was made known to me by revelation, as I have written briefly, when you read this, you can perceive my insight into the mystery of Christ, which was not made known to the sons of men in, order, uh, in other generations as it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit. This mystery is that the Gentiles are fellow heirs, members of the same body and partakers of the promise in Christ Jesus through the gospel. Of this gospel, I was made a minister according to the gift of God's grace, which was given me by the working of his power. To me, though I am the very least of all the saints, the grace was given to preach the Gentiles the unsearchable riches of Christ, and to bring to light for everyone what is the plan of the mystery hidden for ages in God who created all things. So that through the church, the manifold wisdom of God might now be made known to the rulers and authorities in the heavenly places. This was according to the eternal purpose that he has realized in Christ Jesus our Lord, in whom we have boldness and access with confidence through our faith in him. So I ask you not to lose heart over what I am suffering for you, which is your glory. For this reason I bow my knees before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named, that according to the riches of his glory he may grant you to be strengthened with power through his Spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you, being rooted and grounded in love, may have strengthened to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and length and height and depth, and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, that you may be fulfilled with the fullness of God. Now to him who is able to do far more abundantly than all that we ask or think, according to the power at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations, forever and ever. Amen. So that's the entire, uh, entirety of chapter 3, and it's almost like Paul is having a prayer there. Uh, a lot of the language that he has is, uh, is prayerful. It's also instructive because he starts out this chapter talking again about how the Gentiles are also sharing in the inheritance. Uh, you know, a lot of the, the Christians that Paul would have been writing early on were Jewish converts to Christianity. And so uh, for the, the, their entire lives, they had learned about the separation that exists between Jews and Gentiles and how Jewish people were the people of God and the Gentiles were the, the foreigners, the untouchables, so to speak. And now there is this reversal of thought. There is this uh, understanding that Christ has come for all peoples. Uh, Tan panta ethne is what is the Greek translation uh, or the, the original Greek of the Great Commission. Uh, ethne being the word for Gentiles in the Greek. So, uh, Paul is announcing that uh, the gospel is for uh, all of these non-Jewish people and uh, showing the universality of, uh, of what it means to be, um, you know, an heir in the kingdom of God, that we share this with people from every tribe and nation as we're learning in the book of Revelation, and that God is, is come to save all people. So, if you would now, let's go ahead and pray together the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Everyone, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord lift his countenance upon you this day and give you peace. Amen. All right, well, just a, a few announcements for, uh, for this morning. Uh, Elizabeth will be here with you tomorrow morning uh, for Friday for Daily Devotion, so you can tune in for those then. Also, we do have a number of events coming up this Saturday. You can check the most recent email newsletter to get a handle on those. 
Uh, men's breakfast is happening at 8 a.m. We're continuing our study of the lost books of the Bible. Elders meeting will follow right after at, uh, at 9.30 a.m. And then Elizabeth has the rest of her events that are going on listed in the email newsletter. Um, I, I posted yesterday on our Facebook page that uh, uh, this week uh, a pastor uh, down in South Texas, Henry Weed, uh, passed away and entered into his eternal glory. And Pastor Weed was responsible for helping to support Holy Shepherd in its early days with some of the some donations from uh, from his church members uh, that were sent to Holy Shepherd before our offerings from here were able to sustain us. And so. Uh, we remember his family today in our prayers and ask that you continue to, to remember them in your prayers as well at home. So the Lord bless this the rest of your Thursday. We look forward to seeing you again uh, tomorrow and then Saturday. God bless.